Welcome back, you guys. Uh, today we're going to learn about the nomenclature of oxy acids, but we need to know how to identify oxy acids. So uh, the captain for oxy acids is always going to be invariably hydrogen with a plus one valence. There's no variation for that. And the anion is going to be an oxyanion, and we already spoke about what an oxyanion is in the uh, oxy salts video that you can also consult. But Let's talk about some of the most common oxyanions that you find when we're mixing oxy acids together. So in this case, we have uh, phosphate, we have phosphite, we have sulfate, and we have sulfite, we have nitrate, and we have nitrite. Each one of these have a, have a, negative, a different negative charge. Phosphates or phosphorus compounds are minus three, sulfur are minus two, and nitrogen are minus one. And of course, our halogen compounds like uh, perchlorate minus one, chlorate minus one, uh, chlorite minus one, and uh, hypochlorite with one oxygen atom minus one. So whenever we combine these two together, what are we gonna get? We're gonna get an oxy acid. So in this case, if I take the same sheet, and I do my crisscross. Really, the only thing we have to do, and let me take this sheet again, is we're gonna take the valence of the oxyanion and we're gonna give it to the hydrogen atom. And that's really the end of the story. So H3, PO4, H3, PO3, H2, SO4, another example, H, ClO3. And that's just how we mix them, right? Because the one is gonna go to the oxyanion and then the, the valence of the anion is gonna go to the hydrogen. So what is the naming style for oxy acids? Oxy acids are characterized by taking the name of the anion and then if it's an anion that ends with eight, we're gonna transform this into an ick ending, ick ending with the word acid attached to it and on the other hand, the it ending is going to turn into us ending with the word acid on it. So let's try a quick example. When we have hydrogen as, an, as a cation and we have an oxyanion as the anion, we have a oxy acid. So in this case, what the first thing we need to identify is what is the original name of this oxyanion? And we go to our chart or our table and we say that it's phosphate. So according to my formula, if it ends in 8, we're going to turn it into ick. And we're going to do what? We're going to add the word acid. So in this case, uh, acid is really what's representing the letter H from the cation. So we don't worry about it anymore. And phosphate is going to turn into phosphoric. Phosphoric acid, which is the ick ending. Let's try that same example with another anion, which is PO3. We analyze the name of the anion, and we say, oh, I find out on my table, and this is phosphite. So phosphite, since it's an ITE ending, we change the ending to us, and this is gonna be phosphorus acid. Phosphorus acid. And we can do exactly the same thing with any other example. So in this case, we might have H, ClO4, HClO3, HClO2, HClO, and that's it. So we look at the name, the original name of each of the anions, and we're gonna mutate them into something else. So ClO4 is called perchlorate, and we find that on our table. So since it ends in eight, we're gonna turn it into ick, but we also need this word before it. So this is gonna turn into per chlor ick acid, right? And then the name of this one, of this anion is gonna be what? Chlorate. So since it's eight, we do the ick ending, and this is gonna be called chloric acid. And we're done with this naming. Then for the next one, the name of the anion is chlorite. And with this change in ite, ite turns into us, and this is gonna be chlor us acid. Mm -hmm. Same thing for the last one. We're gonna do CLO. We find it on our table and we find out that its name is hypochlorite. 
and hypo and chloride are different, so we're going to write hypochlor, hypochlorous white acid. And that's basically it. Let's do one final refreshing or refresher example. And for example, HNO3, HNO2. The name of this anion is nitrate. So this is an N's and eight, it's gonna turn into ic. So this is nitric acid. And this one is called nitrite with an I. It ending turns into us, nitrous acid. And one last tip again, how do we recognize these? Because, I'm gonna take the sheet again, our cation is always gonna be what? Hydrogen. And our anion is always what? An oxyanion. And again, look up some exercises on internet and uh, you can practice with this. Thanks for watching.